Hello friends, today there is a little simple and interesting geometric optics. It will be about how to find the speed of light in the uh, transparent material. I hope you know that the speed of light in a vacuum is a constant value and is equal to 300,000 km per second. This is a very high speed, isn't it right? Naturally, light travels at a slower speed in the medium. Of course, this speed is less than the speed of light, but still very high, so knowing the distance, time is needed and time is very small. It remains to find out what is the simplest method to determine the speed of light. I will tell you the method of finding the speed of light a little later in this video. In the meantime, let's do some math again. Imagine that during the transition from one medium to another, a ray of light was refracted. I added coordinate axis and draw a circle of some radius. I also marked the points. Now let's write Snellius law in terms of the ratio of the sines of the corresponding angles. Of course, touch the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. I assume that the speed of light propagation in a vacuum is about the same as in air. It is necessary to understand that the essence of the refractive index if light passes from the vacuum from the air into any medium, then the refractive index of the first vacuum is equal to 1. And now let's look at the ratio of signs in the language of mathematics. As you can see, the radii are destroyed and the ratio of the signs is equal to the ratio of the corresponding catches. Now let's test it experimentally. So the first thing you should do, this one is to draw coordinate axis or draw across which good accuracy. The second step is to draw a ray at an any angle greater than zero but less than 90 degrees. Now apply the prism the way I do it. In this experiment I will determine the speed of light in this prism. And if you did everything right, you should see your ray in a prism. With the help of our pencil now, I have to put a control mark so that it come into contact with the prism. The first time I failed, so I'll have to raise the extra level.
Now you need to connect the origin to this point. This will be the desired radius of the circle that will have to be drawn. It remains to mark the points and I mean the corresponding perpendiculars. It remains to divide the length of the legs and the problem is solved, so you can find the speed of light in this transparent material. That's all for now, write comments, subscribe to my channel, write in the comments which topic is more relevant for you now or it will be relevant in the near future. I also invite you to follow in our telegram community, you will be able to find the link in the pinned comments and I also invite you to push chase the clutches of people of science in my clothing store. By doing this you support me and my cause. Uh, bye bye one, sincerely. Yuri Kovalenk